You might have seen a giant rainbow scarf cloud going around the internet recently and wondering what it is. Well, that's a rainbow pileus cloud, and today we're going to be taking a closer look at the science behind this amazing phenomenon. So what exactly is a rainbow pileus cloud? Pileus clouds are a type of cloud that can form on top of cumulonimbus clouds, the kind that produce thunderstorms. A pileus is a brimless felt cap that was worn in ancient Greece. They're called pileus clouds because they look like a little cap that sits on top of the cumulonimbus. Pileus clouds are usually very short-lived, lasting only for a few minutes. But in that short time, they can produce some of the most stunning colors you'll ever see in the sky. So how do these clouds produce such beautiful colors? Well, it all has to do with the way sunlight interacts with water droplets. When sunlight hits a water droplet, some of the light is reflected off the surface of the droplet, but some of the light also passes through the surface of the droplet and is then refracted or bent as it passes through the water. This refracted light then exits the droplet and is once again reflected off the surface of the droplet. But this time, the light is reflected in a different direction than it was before. This process of reflection and refraction happens over and over again as the light passes through the water droplet. And each time it happens, the light is bent a little bit more. Eventually, the light reaches a point where it is bent so much that it is redirected back out of the droplet and into the air. And when this happens, we see the light as a color. The color we see depends on the wavelength of the light. Different wavelengths of light are bent by different amounts as they pass through a water droplet. So, different colors of light are refracted in different directions. Red light, for example, is bent less than blue light. So when red light is refracted back out of a water droplet, it is usually directed towards the top of the droplet. Blue light, on the other hand, is bent more than red light. So when blue light is refracted back out of a water droplet, it is usually directed towards the bottom of the droplet. This is why the sky is blue. The blue light from the sun is scattered in all directions by the water droplets in the atmosphere, but the red light from the sun is scattered less, so it is directed more towards the horizon. This is also why sunsets are often red. The red light from the sun has a long distance to travel through the atmosphere before it reaches our eyes. So, by the time it does reach our eyes, the blue light has been scattered away and only the red light remains. Now, back to rainbow pileus clouds. These clouds form when warm air rises from the surface of the earth and mixes with cooler air in the atmosphere. As the warm air rises, it cools and the water vapor in the air condenses into water droplets. These water droplets are then carried up into the cumulonimbus cloud where they form the pileus cloud. The colors in the pileus cloud are produced in the same way as the colors in a rainbow. Sunlight reflects off the surface of the water droplets and is then refracted as it passes through the water. But there is one difference. In a rainbow, the water droplets are all the same size. But in a pileus cloud, the water droplets are of different sizes. The larger water droplets refract the light more than the smaller water droplets. So the colors in a pileus cloud are usually more intense than the colors in a rainbow. That's the science behind rainbow pileus clouds. So next time you see one of these beautiful clouds, you'll know exactly what's going on. For more mini explainers and insane nature videos, make sure you click that subscribe button.